Go. Hey guys, I'm here with Matt Iwano and I want to teach four Gracie Jiu Jitsu choke defenses. So I've seen a lot of these choke defenses taught on YouTube recently and there's some subtle details that are missing and I'd like to add them in and I hope you enjoy the video as well. Our traditional Gracie Jiu Jitsu self defense techniques are always fun for me. Now, first one, right, these are rear choke defenses by the way. And we gotta think that this is self defense. This is not an assassination. I'm not coming here and then putting him to sleep because now he's dead weight. What am I gonna do with dead weight? Typically in a soft situation, I'm gonna be grabbing and be explaining to him what I want him to do. Listen, brother, we're gonna walk through that door. I do not want to hear a word from you. You understand? That's the choke defense we're working with. It'll work with these chokes too, but this is really kind of what we're trying to, uh, to accomplish. We're trying to accomplish that feeling. So when he grabs, right? Man, we see he's grabbing here like this. Okay. What I need to do first is to drop into a posture, right? Elbows uh, down, hands are up, chin down, shoulders up, but also the butt goes back. So what a lot of people do is when they drop into a posture, their butt, everything looks right, but the butt's not back, so when he starts to move back, man, I can't balance. But when the butt goes back, now when he starts to move back, it's much harder for him. Not impossible, that's why we have other techniques, but more difficult, all right? Here's another detail. A lot of times when people grab, they grab the forearm, okay? And then when I try to do the throw, it doesn't quite work, and the other throws won't work at all, all right? What I need to do is I need to reach back, elbow and shoulder. Butt comes back, shoulder down, right? I'm sorry, shoulders up, chin down, and then I scoop. I scoop up, and then over. A lot of people from here go to the arm bar. Why would I go to the arm bar? I have no idea. There's another person coming into the fight. He's got a weapon. He might have friends. The variables are controlled. I'm a gracious jiu-jitsu fighter. I'm not a grappler. So, foot stomp to the head and get away. That's my objective. Objectives might change based on environment, but that's my primary objective. So again, so bam, butt back, reach, hit low the hip, even go right up to the toes. Foot stomp, throw the arm, Get away. Number two, sometimes when the guys are pulling down, right, you look at how the bend, the body twerks that way. It's hard for me because the butt is slipping past his hip. So I'm gonna go with that momentum, right? So everything else is in place, but I'm gonna go with that momentum and that's what leverage is all about, going with the flow. So, boom, here, all right? I've got several moves from here. But my favorite is the Elio Gracie version. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load him up onto my hip, right? So I'm here, I walk in, load him up onto the hip, and now I'm in my foot stomp, throw, get away. Arm bar's an option, but street self-defense, my goal is to get away. Number three, now he's dragging me back, okay? And he caught me by surprise. Maybe I lost my balance, but for whatever reason we're moving that way, all right? Again. I gotta be hot. Step, turn, 180 degrees. Let's turn. So now I'm facing this way, my shoulders are forward, okay? If I was just grabbing the forearm, he can step around the back, or he can step out, because there's no weight on this leg. So, when I'm here, and I turn, and 180 degrees, I'm putting all the weight on that leg. Now I try to step towards my back, he can. He tries to step out, not before he's going to the ground. Foot stomp, get away. One more. Let's do the uh, choke. Yeah, yeah, okay. Actually, let me, let me show you guys something, all right? Usually when we're practicing this, I see the newer students do this. That's not a choke, guys, right? That's a massage. And you know what? I doubt he's gonna to want to defend the massage. He's gonna to want to defend the choke. This is a massage. This is a choke. That's what he's trying to defend against. So he reaches around my neck like that, right? Yes! If he reaches around just like in a massage position, right? It's gonna be hard for me to get my hands in the right position, but when he's choking me, it's very easy to get my hand into the correct position. This was the weaker leg, so this is the one I'm gonna grab. Grab the meat below the thumb. Take one step, my right hand grabs, my right foot steps. And I break the wrist or he breaks his fall. Remember, do you feel this? No. Do you feel this? No. Do you feel that? Yes. You gotta play.
play with the angles, guys. And also, look, I'm grabbing the meat. Can you see that? Grabbing the meat. This is not the grip. A big guy's just going to rotate through that. I'm grabbing that meat here with the fingertips. That's what's going to break his wrist. All right? So, intention. This isn't a grappling match. Let's go all the way back, right from uh, one, two, three, and four. This isn't a grappling match. It's an assault. And it's an assault is a surprise. So I have to have my muscle memory down. Boom, here. Number one, I'm going to throw him. Number two, he starts to move. So I follow and I load him and I throw him. Number three, he's pulled me back, so I shift turn. My hands are in the right place and I throw him. Number four, he's not massaging me. He's choking me. I still have all of these details down. I reach the weakest link. One step, one break. Thank you, guys.